Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo and I am back in Europa Universalis 4. Um, we had some problem because in our Oman campaign we ended last time with a double war declaration from the really mighty Timurids at the point and the even mightier Mamluks at this point on me which broke me. I tried it out a few times <clears throat> to settle the issue, but I never got away with anything less good. I mean, probably I could have, I could have, uh, uh, I could have killed the Timurids, but uh, the Mamluks always attacked me and sometimes even daily then attacked me and yeah this was not good so i thought i will have to start again um because i really want to do this achievement and i will do it the second time i'm, I'm not sure probably i should buy dharma I want to go into India and do some stuff there. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. With Dharma, there is one really nice um, thing that comes with it because we can um, upgrade our trade centers this is nice and we can um, do uh, um, our troops can quench revolts from one province a lot of pieces, which is um, which is much better than uh, what we have to do in that right now. Mm, no, I'm not sure. Okay, this would really help. What is this with Rome? No, I don't think. But Rome is just the uh, um, Orthodox religion. I have nearly every DLC now. Conquest of Paradise I don't need because I really don't want to randomize the world. Respublica you don't need because with, uh, I think, common sense you get most of the things that you get. Okay. So, Dharma would be okay probably. Golden Century. Emperor would probably also be nice. I don't think that I need this. Emperor could be nice if I play in Europe again. Uh, yeah. But in this scenario, Dharma would be okay. Uh, that there is a sale right now. Let's do it in the Iron Man mode because we want it and just start the Iron Man over this one. Yeah, I know. Just do it. So, I'm not sure, um, but I have to be more careful um, with my expansion. With some luck, the Mamluks and the Timurid are not that um, big in this game. I mean, normally, this, uh, the Timurids and the Mamluks are hit very hard, and they don't become so strong. 
really don't know why this worked for me. Okay, we already saw this. I really hope that I can get the Ottomans as allies in the near future to help me against the Mamluks or Emirates or both. That both. At least so they don't attack me or something. But in my last game, the Ottomans were rather weak, uh, which was really, really terrible. Okay. We are Ibad. This is really bad. Because there are no other Ibadi countries around. Um, we probably will force convert some nations. That the uh, aggressive expansion won't be too bad for us in the region. Okay. So let's go here. One for two. We are a scholar. We have less technology. I believe at the start of the game. We want military tech for rather far. Because this is good. And we need the military edge. So we probably should focus military at the start of the game. I'm not sure. Let's wait for the second personality trait before we focus anything. Also, uh, with the advisors, probably we'll take a level 1 uh, military advice later on. So, yeah, we can do these things. I'm not sure if we need it right now. If I uh, spend 50 diplo points to invite minorities from abroad for 5 years, each province in your capital area will get local development minus 20% is great after we want when we want to um get the institution spread but right now it doesn't do anything uh this is i'm not sure if this will ever be important for us and sanction of holy war is of course this is gives us um Casus Belly, but not now because we have a really good Casus Belly against um, Wormus anyway. And yeah, that's that. So, diplomatically, Hormus rivaled us, and we will rival Hormus because. Because we have to fight them anyway. We have an income of 0.5. This is not much, but yeah, that's a nothing. If we boost our stability first, now nah, we can't. Why can't? Why do we only have 56 admin power? Hmm. Too bad. So, we probably want to form Arabia. This would probably be good. I'm not sure, but I think so. Yeah, we can do this. This lowers our unrest. Um... Military, we can have eight land force limit, of naval force limit, but we don't have any naval facing. So, so prepare for war. Manpower at least eight. Check number of generals at least one. Not check total army size one hundred percent. Okay. So first things first. 
Until 2000 men. Moral of armies plus five percent, recover army moral speed plus ten percent. That's and here again. And we just need the force limit. Okay. Trustworthy allies. We will not gain any allies, I fear. But hopefully we'll gain. Okay, um, that's that. Estates. Okay, we want to seize land, but only after these go. No, it's okay, we could seize land now. Let's see what we can do. We don't need this right now and this right now because we they they have too many land anyway. So about that. This gives us more stability cost. Don't need that right now. Monthly piety plus no point. That's good, I believe. We'll take that. And oversight by the Olima gives them wisdom effects. The more, yeah. Why not? Armies. What can we do with you? So Armies land rights. Nope. Nope. Who again? We won't do at the start. Uh, what do we need for that? Lose 15 army tradition. We don't have 15 army tradition. Ah, army tradition must be at least third. Really? But, but then general costs go down 25%, and that's great. And the army tradition doesn't go down. Yet. Okay, we'll have to reconsider this later. Increased levies. Uh, this reduces our taxes, but gives us more manpower. I'm not sure. Is this the manpower we gain every every month, or is this from the maximum? I really don't know. I should have tried. The speed by which manpower recovers is modified by nobility and army tradition. Okay. Probably it's the speed. No, it, it would be the manpower recovery speed, not the national manpower. Hmm. So, mm, probably not right now, because if we take this, we need even more manpower to get to the 80%. Right of council, yeah, that's good. We'll take that. That's the only one we took right now. Hmm. Interesting. Close. Probably, yeah. Okay, with them we also don't need this. Merchant guilds, that's really nice, but don't need it right now. Patronage of the arts. Maybe prestige goes up. Money. Gain 15 prestige, probably yes. Is this worth it? I mean, normally I'm hitting the 100 prestige in every game, but yeah, why not? Can turn it off later. We don't want this because of the stability cost modifier. We want at least one. We don't need the loan right now. And yeah, we'll take it. How about the demi? We can only do these two. But we don't want to give them land and we don't need leaders. So yeah. That's 
So then let's seize land. Good. And and fifty percent and fifty three. Okay. Okay, summon a diet. Let's see what they want from us. It's eight of man has blah blah blah. Total of the Lima uh, is owned by the country by a country of but what Suhar oh, this is this yeah. but they want us to capture Suhar if we if conquered Suhar we'll lose five years of separatism the Ulima state gains 15 loyalty that's good because we want this anyway how about that? Uh, okay, they also want us to capture some power. And if we do this, we get main power recovery speed and yearly prestige. That's good. I think that's better than this. I'm not sure if we have separatism there, as it's our core, uh, but it's also a core of one. What do you want? You want to... Okay, yeah, let's take the army. Oops. Let's... So we need to capture Suhar. Yeah. Do we want a leader or do we take our ruler? Our well, ruler has 3 to 8 pip. The normal general has only 2 to 7. Two for one. No, that's okay. That's really okay. Good. Let's let's do some drilling at the end of the game. Because we need manpower. Um, how about the, no, we don't have the eighty percent manpower. What would be eighty percent? It's twelve thousand. Eighty percent of twelve thousand is so ten percent is two thousand one thousand two hundred. Two thousand four hundred is twenty percent. So it's uh twelve thousand ten thousand. Like about 9,600 to be 80%. And right now we have 7,800, so yeah. Just it. Okay. Let's collect here. And let's. Transfer it. Hmm. So we have um, this is the trade power. Gujarat has 300 and they have 200. Um, they have more or less the same. This is 30 less than them, but they also have. Okay, that's that. We probably need something else, right? Yeah. We want to know if there are some people who want to ally us. Like Nudged. Nudged is good. Nudged would be an ally. I'm pretty sure you want to be an ally. This was in our last game like that. 
So let's improve relations with you. And let's see. Ooh. Dalsia, Mahra, Multan, a jam, probably a jam. Okay, there is a jump. Probably a jump is a good ally. Let's improve them as well. I'm not sure. Do we need something else? Probably. We've got our rival. We've got the money. We've got no technology, no ideas, no missions, no stuff. Okay, that starts. Okay. Let's make it a bit faster, at least at the start of the game. Because we just have to wait. Probably I should have looked at whom they rival, like Hassa. They rival Hassa. Probably they would want to become an ally. They would also be a good, great ally. Well, they don't like Najd and Davasim, so probably not. I should not do it. Really? Why are you now at minus 80? Because you allied Hormuz, of course. Of course you did ally Hormuz. So I was here. Oh, also. Why is it with you so much better? Same religious school. Ah, let's see. We are stronger than him. Hmm. Makes him not a very perfect ally. But anyway. How about Shamar? Nah, he hates us. Because he's also allied to Hormuz, really. Ah, oh, come on. How about Mushasha? Nah, they hate me. Although... They could like me, I'm pretty sure of that. So, how about Balochistan? They ally... They also don't like me. Okay. Well. of a merchant. Ooh, gain a skill one theologian. He's 15%. Hmm. More money. This is great. This is there, the theologian. This one is the theologian, yeah. Price 1.8 and he costs 50, 0.5 a month. Yeah, they 
take him. Stop. Was here. Let's improve relations with you. Asa and Notched, so they don't like Notched. Good. Yeah, allied with Medina. Which has Miklav, Notra, Medina. Hmm. Okay. How about you? Mm. How about character you don't look? Nope. So he doesn't like Hassa, Miklav, and Najd. Let's go. And then... Hmm... Probably a drum is the best bet. Doesn't not like me. It's just thirty points. Who knows? Probably for the royal marriage or something. Okay, we get Ben Wolland. Liberty design subjects minus five percent. Yeah, as if we'd have so many subjects. So oh, we built to the force limit, but we need the manpower still. How much manpower do we get? 100 per month? Ugh. <laughs> Let's wait with that. As long as we wait with the crew. How about you? What you oh oh yeah we now so let's come home Yeah whatever Austria is not interesting I don't even know where Austria is Perfect So our first alliance Hey We are so great So, whom do you like? No, probably you can get Medina to like us as well. I mean, it's not really great. Wouldn't be a rather great uh, lie, but you know, as you say in German, besser als ein Star am Schädel. I don't know, I mean, there must be an, an English proverb for that. I mean, if you'd... Um, translate it word for word, it would mean something like, it's better... Uh, this is better than to have a stone on the head. <laughs> Okay, how about a jump? Now we are at... So yeah, it's just 28 away. Not sure. If we, if we make royal marriage... 
and if we become friendly towards him, we can probably, probably ask it to help us. Not sure if he's probably more a liability than help. But let's let's marry these guys. Bind them to us. So, how about this is going up great? Well, how much time? Yeah, as I said, 9600 or something like that. Yeah, we will stop for today. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will follow me, although this is the second try with me. Uh, until later. Bye.